just going to turn around at the top. Good girl. Hold on. Come here. You can come on this side. Good girl. <laughs> I assume I should have her on the other side. Uh, yes. But I also think it only takes a couple times okay. of knowing that it's there. So I can put her, you think? I would. Because, like I said, the idea is that this is up high enough to lead her way anyway. Come here. And if she's coming over naturally, putting a foot right here, we got there. Fine. Go. Yeah! Super! Now, as you know, my weave post in the ground secret and my regulator. Go. Hold on. It's on, it's on you. I dropped it on you. And I'd be clicking. Yes. I'd be clicker this. Yes! Good girl! Am I clicking her going over the stride regulator or am I clicking her in That's the yellow? That's a great question because you could theoretically choose either. I told Melissa for her dog, she was clicking the getting the air for Sisu. I would start by clicking this okay. and just seeing where it takes you. If okay. you need to start clicking the other one, if she's just not doing it, then we go from there. Okay. Ready? Wrap. Climb. Go. Yeah. That was so good! So I think this is... A couple things that um, I just want to point out that are what you're looking for. A, Look her off. she cleared this. First of all, you told her it was here. She's like, yes. okay, I know it's here. This doesn't mean you have to spend weeks showing her it's here. It's up high enough where she could naturally go over it anyway. And she just barely clear. She's like, shit, there's something. Yeah, I mean, her, like her first stride is way further down. Mm -hmm. That's so good. That took care of that. So I don't think you will need a second one. Okay. But also, equally important, limit her approach speed until she gets the feeling of, hey, this is yeah. nice. Because as soon as you give them more speed, they go, Whoa! I don't want to do that again. Fair. So you build their confidence of what it feels like to do it a little bit. Okay. And then, then the next step is, well, now that they're doing it, you have to, they need to be able to regulate that when they have more. So. This is all I would give her. Let her rehearse what it feels like without too much speed and for a bigger dog. <laughs> a bigger dog, they can do it. Like this is not a whoa turn from right. a tunnel. And you don't have a ton of speed. So and you're also not doing hundred A frames. Let's they are fine. Way. They're literally fine. So what ready? Wrap. Climb. Go. Good girl. So higher than the last one. Right, but remember too, we've done nothing with right. this. Like as she gets more confident, you can start lowering that to force her into lower here. But oh, okay. for the first but one. But it's, I mean, still better, still better than what she was doing. Yeah, so, I mean, let's yeah. say theoretically, if we put it here, and this is moving kind of fast, but she already knows it's there. So let's just see what she gives us. And then you just play. Like if you want her, if you're like, wow, I'm super happy with that. I mean, we might not good. need to go down like or, a ton more. Like, yeah, you might not need to. Good but, girl. Um, the Sunday it came down more because as a smaller dog, I, I needed you to go down much deeper. Yeah. Because otherwise sense. your rears aren't going to carry you as far as a 16 right. inch dog. Good girl. But this just comes down a little bit lower and you force them into getting comfortable doing it. 